Hey, what's up? It's Andy here, and I want to bring your attention to keyword research. Now, before I actually dive into the content of this video, I've written an in-depth, detailed guide on how to actually do proper keyword research. As you can see with this guide, I'm going to break down all the basics that you need to know, like the different types of keywords, uh, which one actually has commercial intent, and also how to find these golden keywords. So I do recommend you read it, and you check it out by clicking this box over here. So instead of actually breaking down the very basics of keyword research, instead in this video I want to reveal my top 3 keyword research tools that are absolutely for free and how you can use it to do effective keyword research. So the very first keyword tool that I use and I highly recommend is called Ubersuggest. You can actually check it out at ubersuggest.org. Now how this actual tool works is it's going to pull data from Google. And the data it's actually pulling from Google is the auto suggestions. So for example if we were looking for a keyword around boxing gloves, you can see that Google auto suggests keywords. Now for each letter that you go through, it's going to give you a different suggestion. So what this tool does is, it actually collects all that data from Google and places it all in the one spot. So as you can see, there are 985 suggestions found. Now not all of these keywords are going to be beneficial to you. In fact, probably 80% of these keywords are completely useless. Now it's your job to actually use your common sense. So what you need to do now is actually go through the list and then see the ones that you actually do like. And then once you see the ones you like, all you have to do is just tick them. Now once you've actually found a good list of keywords that you actually want to check out further, on the right here, if you scroll all the way to the top, on the right here you'll see that uh, all these actual keywords that you selected are going to be here. Now instead of actually copying each individual keyword, you can just click on get, and it'll show a whole list of all the keywords that you just copied. Now as you know, this is not enough to do your keyword research. Getting a whole bunch of ideas is just the beginning. You actually need to do further research and find out metrics for each of these individual keywords. So what you need to do now is to actually highlight all of the keywords, right click, copy it, and use Google's very own tool, Google Keyword Planner. So again, Google Keyword Planner is a free tool that you can use to help you further research your keywords. Now as we've already got a whole bunch of ideas that we want to check out, all you need to do is just click on Get Search Volume Data and then just paste in all your keywords in here. Now as for your targeting, you could choose either which countries specifically or you could do all locations. Now what will happen is that Google will display all of the average monthly searches for that particular keyword. So for example, you'll see boxing gloves for women, it has an average monthly search of 3,600. Now on the right here you'll see competition. Don't get misled from the actual label. This competition tab here is only relevant to AdWords. So people are actually paying for these particular keywords to place their ads within the Google search. So having a high competition means that there's a lot of people placing ads for this particular keyword. And you can see that there's a suggested bid of 90 cents per click. So this is how much advertisers are willing to pay for every click on their own ad. So as you can imagine, the higher the suggested bid, the more the advertisers are willing to pay for that particular keyword. This is where we actually dive into keywords that have commercial intent. And of course, I actually explained that in a lot more greater detail in the article that I wrote. So I highly recommend you check it out. Now, of course, the goal here is to actually find a keyword that has enough average searches to actually go by, but at the same time, it's not too competitive so that you can easily rank your content. So as you can see, these top three keywords that has a monthly search of 3,600, 2,400, and 1,600, it's a keyword that looks promising. Whereas with keywords that only have 30 searches per month, you're not going to get a whole bunch of traffic to your actual site. Keep in mind that the longer tail keywords are generally going to have a lower monthly searches. But at the same time, it's actually going to be a lot easier to rank your content within Google. So even though this might only have 30 searches per month, if you actually combine these two in the one article, so you could, your title could actually be Top Boxing Glove Brands and Weight Guide. So by using a combination of different keywords, you'll have a combined monthly search of let's say 50. And the likelihood of you ranking for that keyword is very likely. Now another tool I want to share with you is called KeywordTool.io. So KeywordTool.io. Again, this is a completely free tool and it works very similar to how Uber Suggest works. So again, all you have to do is just type in your keyword. You can actually choose which uh, search engine country that you want to deal with, but let's just stick with the .com and click on search. Now as you can see, with the free version, all you're getting is more keyword ideas. If you actually want the search volume and CPC in competition, you actually need to upgrade to a pro version. But as you saw what we did with the keyword planner, that won't really be necessary. So again, all you need to do is just go through these keywords and see which one really works out for you. So boxing club for kids, you can tick that. You might want to tick that. Sizes, weight, and so on. And once you've actually ticked these, on the bottom right here you'll see copy. If you click on copy, 
Now it's actually copied to the clipboard. So if you head back to the keyword planner, let's modify the search. So I'm just gonna control A, delete all that, and let's enter in my new set of keywords. And I'll just click on get search volume. Now again, you can see the monthly searches for each of these keywords and the competition and suggested bid. Again, I wouldn't worry too much about the competition and the suggested bid is a really good indicator on the actual commercial intent for these keywords. So although boxing glove weight might have a really low monthly search, you can see that the suggested bid is extremely high. So this keyword might be an article that you want to wrap around, just knowing the fact that it will have really high conversions. Now the last tool I actually want to show you is called KeywordEye.com. So KeywordEye.com. Now to use this tool, you are required to create an account. Again, it's completely free, but they do have a paid version. Now to use this tool, all you have to do is just head over to New, click on New, Keyword, and you have a choice of doing Related, List, or Auto Suggest. And you could also do Auto Suggest for both Google as well as YouTube. So let's click with Related for now. I'll type in boxing gloves, the country I'm aiming for is the United States, and let's click on run report. As you can see, it'll be represented as a word cloud. So the bigger the word, the more searches for that relevant keyword. But if you actually click on grid view, you can see that it'll actually show the search volume, PPC competition, and the score. Again, for now, you don't have to worry about these two sections, but the main one is the search volume. Now with the free version, you're only limited to 100 keywords. But again, you actually wanna go through this list and see which keywords really stand out for you. And if you see one that you like, you just need to click on it, hold control if you want to do more than one, and then you can just click on download. And this will actually download a CSV file. And there you have it. Those are the three tools that I use that are completely for free that will help you with your keyword research. Now this is only half the battle. The second half of keyword research is to actually analyze the competition. But again, that's a little out of scope for this video and uh, it's gonna be a future video. But for now, play with these three tools, get a whole bunch of keyword ideas for your actual niche and save it all into a notepad. This list will come in handy when it actually comes to competitive analysis and giving you more ideas on which articles to write around. So what tools do you use for your keyword research? Have you actually come across any of these tools before? If you have, let me know in the comments about your experience. Also, if there are other free tools that you use, you know, just list it down in the comment and share it to everyone else. Now, I'll actually leave the list of all these tools uh, either in the comment or in the description below. So feel free to just jump in, check it out for yourself, and come up with a whole bunch of keyword ideas for your next article. Hey, it's Andy again, and thank you so much for watching our videos. I hope you really enjoyed it. And remember to like this video and leave a comment with your feedback or question below. And most importantly, subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any future trading videos. Also, if you're looking to build an online business, I highly recommend you watch my case study in which I show you how I generated over $600 in pure profits from just a simple 30 minute $20 campaign. All you need to do is click on the link in the description box below, enter your name and email, and I'll send the case study straight to your inbox immediately. Remember, this is 100% free, no fluff case study, and I know that you'll get awesome results if you just copy and implement the strategy that you discover. That's pretty much it, and I look forward to seeing you soon.